Hey, it's Kim from Ocean Bayou Yoga. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you have a moment, please press the subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. There's a pretty mandala on there. Thank you so much and we'll get started. So as some of you may have already known, I have had ulcerative colitis since I was in my 20s. I am now in my 40s. I have found that doing a yoga sequence daily, six days a week, has really helped keep my flare-ups under control or non-existent. So let's get started. We're going to come to the top of the mat. So this is a sequence that I have adapted from BKS Iyengar specifically for ulcerative colitis. And down below in the description, you'll find some other tips that help keep me symptom free. So let's get started. We're standing at the top of our mat, hands by our sides. We're gonna inhale, sweep our arms up, gazing up, exhale and fold forward. Now we're gonna inhale, looking up halfway with a flat back. Your flat back may be hands to shins, hands to ankles, or maybe your fingertips touch the mat. Do what works best for you. Step your feet back into a plank, either knees up or knees down, you choose. And then we're gonna lower down either chaturanga, if you're familiar with that, or cobra or up dog, and into down dog. So I'm giving you some options here depending on your proficiency with your yoga practice. So we're in down dog, we're going to hold for five deep breaths. We really want to concentrate on our breath here in this practice. Listen to the sound of the inhale, as well as the sound of the exhale. Let it fully consume you. Now step or even hop your feet forward to your hands. Look forward with that flat back, whichever you prefer, and fold back down. Inhale, with strong legs, we rise all the way up, palms connect, exhale, hands by our sides. We're gonna do two more. Inhale, arms up, Exhale and fold. Inhale, look up halfway, flat back. Exhale, step or even hop your feet back, come into your plank or chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra, and exhale into downward facing dog. Hold for another five deep breaths. We can tuck our chin towards our chest. We want to pull our belly slightly up here, keep our legs strong, and keep your eyes steady. Okay, we're going to step or hop our feet forward to the top of our mat, look forward with a flat back, exhale and fold. Inhale and rise, palms touch overhead, exhale, hands by your sides. Okay, last one, inhale, arms rise up, Gaze up, exhale and fold. Inhale, look up halfway. Exhale, step or hop your feet back. Lower down, plank, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale to downward facing dog. Smooth, deep, full breaths. If down dog has become too much for you, feel free to drop into child's pose. Good, step or hop your feet forward. Look forward with a flat back. Exhale and fold. Inhale and rise, palms connect. Exhale, hands by your sides. We're now going to come into a forward fold. We're going to step our feet a little bit apart. Inhale, arms up again. Exhale and fold. So you have some options here. Your hands can rest towards the floor. You can hold the backs of your legs. You can hold opposite elbows. We're going to hold for five breaths. Be conscious of how much weight is on the heels of the feet as well as the balls of the feet and try to split that difference right in the center. Good, now inhale, look up halfway. Exhale, inhale, we rise. Exhale, hands back by your sides. Okay, we're gonna make our way down to the mat. Inhale, arms up. Exhale and fold. Inhale, look up halfway. Exhale, 
Step your feet back, drop onto your knees, and swivel your hips to one side to swing your legs around. Take your legs straight out in front, toes up towards the sky. Feel free, if you need to, to sit on a blanket. Inhale and raise your arms up. Exhale, reach forward and fold. And your hands can rest wherever they're comfortable, shins, ankles, or feet. We want to reach the crown of our head forward towards our toes. Good. Inhale. Look up. Reach the arms up. Exhale and release. And now we're coming into Janu Shirsasana A. We're going to bend the right leg. Take the sole of the foot to the inside of our left thigh. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, reach forward and fold right over your straight leg. Hands can go wherever they reach. Inhale, rise up, reach your arms up, exhale, release, and we're going to switch legs. Straighten your right leg, bend your left, take the knee out to the side, sole the foot to the inside of your leg, inhale, arms up, exhale, and fold. Inhale, rise up, reach your arms up, exhale, and release. Bring that left leg back to straight. We're going to bend the right knee for Marichyasana C. So we're going to take the left arm and wrap it around the right leg as the right arm comes back behind us. Keep the spine long. Remember to breathe deeply and lift the heart. Good. Gaze back to center. Exhale and release. We'll do the other side. Left leg bends, right arm wraps around to pull the leg in tight. Left arm comes back behind as we gaze over our left shoulder. Make sure your right toes are up towards the sky, finding a full steady breath. Good, gaze back to center, exhale. We'll come right into our next pose. Ardha Matsyandrasana. So that left foot that was up, it's going to sneak right underneath our right thigh. Now you have the option of the right foot coming right in front of the shin or taking that right foot and crossing it over top of the knee. You decide what works best for you. Now you're going to take the left arm and pull the right thigh in towards your belly as we gaze back to our right for our second twist. Smooth, steady breaths. Good, gaze back to center and release. So now the right foot sneaks underneath the left leg, either bringing the heel towards the shin or you're going to take that left foot and cross it over top of your right leg pulling the knee in towards the shin either way, and you can even take your left hand onto your low back as another option. Keep the heart lifted and the breath smooth. Gaze back to center and release. So the next pose we're going to do is called Varasana. We're going to come onto our hands and knees, and then we're going to sit back onto our heels. Now, this may not be accessible for everybody, so what you can do, one second, I'll go grab one, is grab a block. So, grab the block, place it between your ankles, any height which works for you, all the way down, the next level up. You're going to press your heels towards the block and see how that feels. If you need to raise it, make it a little higher. 
If it's too high, make it a little lower. If you find it was better without. So ultimately, we want the hips between our heels, but we want the heels pressed up close. Okay, now if that is still comfortable for you and you're okay here, you can take your hands and move them back behind you to intensify this stretch. You can even drop down onto your forearms if you're still okay here or lay completely flat if you would like. So find which version works best for you and we're going to breathe for five breaths. Good. Slowly make your way out. Remove the block if you were using one. Swing your legs to one side. We're going to do what's called Maha Mudra, which starts just as the pose we did earlier, but we're going to open up the legs a little bit wider than a 90 degree angle. Reach forward and grab hold of your big toe or your ankle or your shin. We're going to take a deep inhale and on the exhale, pull our chin as tightly down towards our chest as we can and pull our belly buttons towards our spine. And then we're going to hold our breath for just a moment, release, take a deep inhale, exhale, pull the chin back to the chest, pull in your belly, hold your breath, exhale and release. We're going to do that three more times. Pull the chin in, pull the belly in, and release. Again, chin in, belly in, hold, and release. Last one, chin in, belly in, hold, and release. And we'll switch to the other side, bend the left leg, take it out a little bit wider than 90 degrees, reach for the toe, the ankle, or the shin, take a big deep breath, Exhale, pull your chin towards your chest, pull your belly button towards your spine and hold your breath. And release. And again, chin to chest, belly in and hold. Exhale, big deep inhale, chin to chest, hold. Release, we'll do two more, deep breath. Pull the chin in and release. Last one, chin to chest. And release. Good, so we'll make our way to the top of our mat and we're going to roll the front of our mat up into a nice, um, little hard tube and we're going to place our heels on it. Take your feet wider than your hips apart and we're going to bend into our knees and our hips. Come down as low as is comfortable for you. If you need a block, use your block. Good. Hands to your heart unless your hands are supporting you. We're going to take our right hand down and our left arm up. Coming into a little twist, you can also bring your left hand onto your low back. Or you can even bring your right arm around for the bind and find your other hand. So there's lots of options here. If you're using your block, you would look as such. Great, so let's try the other side. Left hand down, right arm up or around your back. Find your breath. Good, and release. We're now gonna let that little roll come undone and sit back down onto the mat. We're gonna go ahead and lie down for our next pose. We have some options here as well. So we're going to take our legs up towards the sky and press our heels towards the ceiling. Now a slightly gentler version would be to bend our knees. Either way, we're going to take our arms out to the sides. We're going to be dropping either our legs or our knees 
all the way down to the right side of our mat, nice and slow. As we take our gaze in the opposite direction, once our legs or our knees are down towards the floor, we're going to hold for five. Good, then we're going to slowly make our way back to center with either straight legs or bent knees. Once we're at center, take a full deep breath, exhale, and we're going to make our way over to the other side, nice and slow. Once we're down, change our gaze towards the right. And then we're going to slowly make our way back to center. Once we're here, take a nice full deep breath. Pull the knees tightly in towards your chest and rock side to side. Roll over onto your right side and then onto your bellies. Take your hands by your sides feet towards each other, we're going to lift our hearts up off the mat and if possible lift our legs. If we're only lifting our hearts, that's perfectly fine and we're going to hold for five. Slowly release and press one cheek down onto the mat. Now we're going to bend our knees for our next pose and we're going to reach for the tops of our feet. Now this may not be accessible for everybody, so I would suggest if this is not working for you to do the last pose we did one more time. So this is bow pose. We're going to be pointing our toes up towards the sky and kicking our feet in towards our hands, which helps to arch our spine, looking forward and then eyes to nose. Good, slowly release and place one cheek down on the mat to rest. Change to the other cheek. And then we'll slowly roll over on to our backs again. And we're going to come into bridge pose. So we're going to bend our knees, separate our feet hip width distance apart. And on our next inhale, we're going to lift our hips up towards the sky, rolling our shoulders under. Now, if you follow a more advanced practice and want to come to the top of your head, as such, you can, or even lifting up all the way like this. Do whichever version is best for you today. Find your steady breath. Good, slowly release. Take a deep breath, exhale it out, and inhale, rise back up. Exhale, relax back down. Inhale up for the last one. and slowly relax back down. Bring your knees in towards your chest and gently rock side to side. So we may need our block for the next pose, so go ahead and grab it. You can also use a pillow or a rolled up blanket or towel. So you're either gonna just take your legs up towards the sky or 
Grab your block or pillow, place it underneath your tailbone, and then take your legs up towards the sky. Or you're going to come into a full shoulder stand, lifting your hips up off of the mat and supporting your low back with your arms. Lifting your chin just slightly in any of the variations you're working on, pointing your toes up towards the sky. making sure you're breathing smoothly. Good, and then we're all going to slowly lower ourselves back down. Remove the block if you're using one and gently rock side to side. Roll over onto your right side and begin to push yourselves up to seated, swivel your legs around to the side, and we're going to come down onto our hands and knees. So drop down onto your forearms. This is either headstand or headstand prep. Take your fingers and wrap them around your elbows. That's the distance your arm should be. Then interlace your fingers, tucking your bottom pinky underneath. Place your head between your hands. Now this may be your headstand prep today. If you want to go further, come up onto your toes, and maybe that is your headstand prep for today. You can also begin to lift one foot up, then the other, or come into the full expression of the pose. Straightening your legs up towards the sky. If you find yourself fatigued, drop down into child's pose. And then we'll all slowly come down and meet there with you. Let your head rest on the mat if possible. Return to a steady breath. Then we'll slowly begin to rise back up and make our way to seated and then right onto our backs for final relaxation. Lie down in any comfortable position. If you need something under your head, grab a pillow, or if you need something under your knees, grab a blanket. Cover up if you're cold, and make yourselves as comfortable as you could possibly be. No effort is needed anywhere in your entire body. Let everything completely melt away. Let all the muscles in your body completely relax. Relax the muscles in your face. Relax your shoulders, your bellies, your legs, and your ankles. Know that all of our deep breathing, along with our movement, has created a lot of energy and prana, or life force, and that energy and prana is healing our bodies right now. Send all of that prana and energy right to where you need it the most and know that it's healing you. Be sure to rest completely and I'll let you know when it's time to rise. Here is a quote for you today by Carolyn Miss. The soul always knows what to do to heal itself. The challenge is to silence the mind. Go ahead and take a full deep breath. Exhale it out and begin to wiggle your fingers and toes. Roll your wrists and your ankles. Take your arms up and above your head for a big stretch. Reach your fingers away from your toes and exhale right there. When you're ready, bring your knees in towards your chest and gently rock from side to side. Roll over onto your right side, curling up into a little ball, taking another moment there. and then using your hands to push yourselves up to seated. Any comfortable position that works for you. 
Bring your hands to your hearts. Take a moment here to refine your breath, to acknowledge some gratitude for your bodies, gratitude for the life that you live. Bring your thumbs to your forehead, full deep breath. Namaste. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I hope that you find this video useful. Let me know in the comments down below. Peace and love. See you next time.